Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Candy off the air asked me something she should have asked me on the air because it was quite the hoot. Uh, you said, what did what I did do you without do last you? Week? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I basically talked to myself, and I don't even think uh, my family listened last week because... <laughs> <laughs> they kn- they knew you weren't there and oh they wow they didn't want to hear what I had to say yeah oh that's quite flattering yes yeah, flattering and disturbing all at the same time so yeah I like I, it I didn't know uh, what was going on now before you tell your story you want to tell let me just say today is officially tax day remember they moved it back three months Candy uh, July fifteenth today's the day okay tax day okay deadline. yeah uh, it's also National Give Something Away Day. I give you my love every day. I give it away for free. Oh, I was thinking, what could I put out at the street that somebody might be able to use? Unbelievable you are. What? What? Get rid of some junk and maybe somebody can uh, use something. Yeah, I do that all the time. Uh, National I Love Horses Day. And they're beautiful I do animals. Horses. So smart. National Tapioca Pudding Day. My mother used to make that. Yeah, not a fan. I don't know the last time I even had tapioca pudding. I don't either. I think when my mother made it was the last time. National Pet Fire Safety Day, What I guess what you do with your pets during a fire, Candy, I Important suppose. Important information, absolutely. And it's National Gummy Worm Day. I'm not a fan of gummies. Okay. Uh, boy, that was interesting. Now, here's yeah. for, something, for something really exciting. Uh, you have a story about someone you know down in Florida? I just want to give you an angle of how hard, first of all, these caregivers are these these nurses and doctors and everybody in these hospitals what they have to go through all right my um my girlfriend has a rich aunt who has lived in florida for a very long time she has a beautiful place right on the intercoastal anyway Mm -hmm. she's very active although she's losing it a little bit she's 82 she still drives she won't give it up we all want her to anyway they've loosened the reins on the COVID-19 rules and she went to the gym and she's here and she's there and going out to eat and driving all over with her boyfriend and he also his daughter tested positive they didn't stop moving Anyway, she gets a COVID-19 test just to see because the daughter had it. Does that make her quarantine till the results come in? No. She has friends. They come over. They drive to their house. They sleep over. Tests come back positive. She's not feeling well. She goes to the hospital. They admit her. Her boyfriend, Milt, they put him in the hospital too. Now she's in the hospital, which is terrible. She's doing okay. She is so horrible to the nurses. She keeps ripping the oxygen off. They said to her, if you do it one more time, we're going to strap you down. What these nurses do is unbelievable. But my point here is, you know, Florida is known for having a lot of retirees, and some of them may not have all their wits about, and they're spreading COVID like wildfire. So it, you got the young people, obviously, because Miami's a hot spot right. and everything's going on. And now you have the old people who don't care, or a few of them anyway. In the, in this case, your your family friend, Candy. Yes, yes. Yeah. And w- if I had to have a COVID nineteen test because I was suspicious I may have caught it, I'd be sitting in my house not moving at all. I'm already sitting in my house not moving at all. Completely. Think of how right. many people she could have contaminated running around for the five days before she got the results. Well, and 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 a very disturbing story. And very, you know, it goes along with something uh, Governor Cuomo tweeted out yesterday. Yesterday at two o eight p.m., I took a screenshot of it. Uh, he wrote this. He said, "Here's a true story about how quickly COVID can spread." At a Fourth of July party in Suffolk County. At least one person was positive. Since the party, 35% of the people who attended have tested positive. It only takes one person at one party, wear a mask, and be smart. Go, 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 go pool. Go to your friend's pool. Go ahead. Well, now, listen. Listen, stop, stop, stop. Uh I will will say this. All the things we're talking about, your your friend in Florida, the, the 4th of July party here in Suffolk County, and anything in between... Absolutely not wise, poor decision making. I will also say this because, you know, listen, Candy, I'm on the side of wear a mask, 
don't go out if you don't need to, and let's put this thing into the ground, okay? Let's beat this thing down, right? Well, the whole I've country, been doing my right? part, but apparently right. many others have not. Now, with that said, and, and we're on the same page, and, and I think you need to quarantine the whole South uh, United States and the Midwest and everything. Shut need... her down. Okay. So, but I'll also say this. Um, we, when you have to, like here in New York, where we're at our lowest rate since the beginning of this thing and the best in the nation right now. Um, you're going to have to take, at a certain point, calculated risks and that means you know do you get uh your daughter to ride go on a bike ride with her friend do you do you go over and, and swim at someone's pool but keep your distance at a certain point while it's this low i mean you, listen because this is not ending tomorrow this could be a year two years three years we don't know what's happening so at a certain point you do have to take a calculated risk so um you have to be active, but you have to be smart about it. Wash the hands, wear a mask, and try to stay away from people, Candy. That's all I can say. That's all yeah, you can do. that's all I can say. I'm doing it. I don't know that you are. Um, Get out I'm, of that pool. Are you wearing a mask in that pool? Oh, my are God. Are there little kids in that pool? May, may I just say, uh, on the mask wearing, I believe not only is it saving lives wearing masks— but I think it's making a lot of people look a hell of a lot better, Candy. I see, <laughs> I see people looking fantastic in their mask. Uh, I can only imagine what people are saying about me. Wow, look at that fathead. Boy, does he look a lot better with that mask. All I see are his blue eyes and his bald head. You know, I Candy? I cannot stand it. I hate the mask. I don't know how these people wear them all day to work. I, bless their souls. I mean, really, it's hard. I, well, right. You're home. You don't have to wear one. I understand. Well, if you're working in a job eight, ten hours a day and you do have to wear it even longer. Yeah. I mean, wow, they're really sacrificing a lot, especially I, these hospital workers. Ble I mean, there's they're amazing. enough kudos to give them. They're amazing. We should amazing. honor uh, honor them every day for sure. What they put up with. Yeah. Uh, and uh, not just the nurses and the doctors. How about the janitorial staff? All, that has to all of them. How about people who are cleaning up after everybody? Absolutely. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. They may be first on the list. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's check the roads. You have a great rest of your day, Candy. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.